How's it going, guys? Hey, Coach Justin, the messenger. Um, how do, what's the, been the most difficult thing about preparing for uh, Ole Miss offense? Hmm. <laughs> They're good. Um, they, uh, they've got a good scheme. They run um, a high-paced offense. They, they get a lot of plays in. They're uh, an up-tempo team. They've got a lot of really good football players. And they're coached by really good football coaches. So uh, to say one, what's the one hardest thing? I don't, I don't know. Um, they're a challenge. They're a handful. So uh, we're excited for the opportunity. Our guys are working hard to get better every day, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, lining up and and seeing where we're at on Saturday against a really good opponent. Hey, Sheila, it's John Johnson. It's a Dothan Eagle. I'm not sure who the starting quarterback's going to be, but he hadn't played a lot of snaps as, as, a, as a player. How have you studied those two guys? How have you, I know, I'm sure watch film on them, but what do each one of those guys do that, you know, is impressive to you? Sure. Uh, you know, we've, we've looked at them on film with what we could, could find of both of them. Uh, and then obviously, you know, they're going to work, I think, within the confines of what they do offensively, and they'll they'll play, I'm sure, to the strengths of the individual that's that's uh, behind center. Um, but just trying to get a feel for what what they do well. I think both of these guys throw the ball the football pretty well, and they're they're both really capable runners as well. Um, you know, a lot of times I think they use maybe uh, a little bit more of an RPO based. Um, you know, if they're not if there's some kind of mesh and they're not handing the ball to the running back, they maybe look to throw off of it, but. Um, but they certainly will run the quarterback as well. So just, uh, you know, looking at, at each individual, what they do well, and then and really schematically how they are going to incorporate that into the system that they have where they've got all kinds of different wrinkles that they can go to to, you know, take advantage of the talents of all their football players uh, and, and play to their strengths. And personally, Shiel, how fun is it for you as a coach to match up against a guy like Kiffin who, you know, he can throw everything at you. I know you know that. But how, how fun is that as a challenge to you? Well, that's, you know, it, it, it is fun. It's why you, you are passionate about the game uh, as a player and then you decide to go into coaching because you, you love the game, you love the competition. So certainly uh, we'll have our hands full on Saturday against a really well-coached and athletic and, and good football team. And uh, those are the, you know, that, that three and a half to four hours that you're out there on the football field uh, in – in the game, it's there's nothing else like it. You know, whether you're a player or a coach in that environment, uh, in that competitive situation, um, it really gets your your nerves going. It gets your adrenaline pumping, unlike uh, really anything else. And, and that's I, I think uh, what makes this sport so much fun for all of us that that are involved in it. Well, he, he does. He, he practices hard every day. He plays hard. Um, he, he's fun to be around. He's got a really good personality. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that's that's been a really good football player here at Troy. And we're just excited that he's on our team this year. Uh, and we're, we're looking forward to seeing him um, do some really good things for us. So, uh, you know, can't say enough about uh, how impressed I've been with him and really seeing the improvement that he's made from the time that we got here uh, with the, the things that, that Coach Summerall has really wanted to instill in our, in our football program from a culture standpoint. Richard has bought in. He's, done a, uh, he, he's made a lot of strides since, if I think back to January in the off season and through spring practice and just continued making progress, learning what we're doing and, and really buying into the, the vision that I think Coach has for our, our entire football team. So um, he's had a lot of leadership from that standpoint and just uh, really proud of, of everything he's done up to this point. What's going on? Um, well, it's, it's a really special moment for me. Just like you said, haven't haven't ever uh, haven't ever gone against Ole Miss. You know, obviously as a player and as a GA uh, being there, so that's kind of a uh, a special moment. It's a unique moment. And then for our players, just 
tell them to get ready for a good atmosphere um, and uh, a passionate fan base. Uh, but it should just be a good environment. So I think the biggest thing is tell them to enjoy it, you know. The one against the team that looks to be pretty explosive. Uh, talk, talk about that, uh, trying to contain an offense like that and, and y'all's mindset going into it. Yeah, you're saying just uh, Ole Miss with, the, with their explosive offense versus our defense. Yeah, I, I think that they're extremely talented and they've got great scheme and they've got great players across the board. Um, we obviously have got some special ones. I've got one sitting across from me right now, Big Rich. Um, but uh, but anyway, I think it's the it's our job as coaches just to get our, our talented players uh, in good matchups and in good positions against theirs. So, uh, But they're extremely talented and uh, it's going to be fun to, to try to go match up. Questions? I'll give you one more, um, Taylor. It's as quick as Ole Miss is, uh, and with their running backs and everything, you, you got to have a guy that can really move that linebacker like Carlton, and y'all do. Uh, t- talk about what he, you know, what he gives y'all in that way he can get around it and, and just make tackles like he does. Um, he makes my job a lot easier. I know that. He makes me like I'm a halfway decent coach. So, uh, but he's extremely talented. He uh, he is one of the most natural linebackers that I've ever been around. Like, I'm talking about just even just watching guys play on TV, like uh, coaching them, playing with guys that were really talented. He is uh, he has a unique ability to find the football and get the guy on the ground. Uh, so that helps us out a lot. You know what I mean? So just really let him cut him loose, don't bog him down, and uh, watch him make some plays. So helps us a ton. Richard, this is John Johnson from the Dope Eagle. How are you? Hello, good afternoon, John. I'm doing great. How you doing? Doing good, thank you. Um, Coach Wood was talking about your progression as a player uh, during the preseason camp. How do you see yourself? How have you progressed and, and, and gotten better going into the season? Um, first of all, you know, I was working on my weight and my um, – my running skills, like last season, I, I was being, I was able to play the, the the run better. I was I was able to play the run good, but I was uh, better, more of a good pass rusher, and that was one thing, coach, has really helped me to improve. You know, being able to play the run good, and I've really improved my that part of my game, which was a big factor for me. And this time they use us in a different way. We we run a lot. You know, they put us in different places on the field and for the bending position, and I've been able to really learn a lot in order to really improve my my skill set in those sides. So I would say playing the role better. And we've gotten faster and stronger. And you're you're like a co-starter with Javon. Talk about someone that good. Y'all pushing each other to get better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Javon is a very good player, um, very natural. You know, he he's a very hard walker. And that really helps me. That really helps my me, too, in a way that he pushes me. You know, it, it's a it, it's a um, he goes hard every day, you know. We all go hard every day, and he's a hard worker, putting in the extra work all the time. So he helps me do uh, so too, and I do the same thing, and he helps him. So John's a very good um, player, uh, very good pass rusher. His skill set is, you know, out of the roof, and that's a very big blessing to the team and me personal. And one more question for me: Y'all going to be playing at three o'clock on Saturday afternoon? It's going to be hot. Um, off-season conditioning. Uh, last year, a lot of times in the second half, it seemed like the team kind of wilted a little bit. Talk about how y'all have, I guess, improved that during the off-season. You know, um, just like what you said, what happened last season, we all knew about it, and we've, every, everybody on the team has really bought in time to put in extra conditioning, and I feel like we're in the best shape right now. The weather should be an excuse for us because the off-season, we all trained under the sun, and and the hit was okay, and we're able to perform to our best, um, to the best we can. And we're not sure the weather is going to be an excuse or a factor this season. We're in great shape, and everybody has really buzzed their tails off to be in the best shape of their life. So I feel like it's going to be it's an exciting time for us. Anybody else have a question for Richard? Let me ask you one more, Richard, while we got you here. Uh, I know y'all look at Ole Miss by now, I'm sure, or, or you know a lot about it as far as how versatile they are on offense. How fun is that as a defense, as a defensive player, to have a chance to go against the offense like that and see what y'all are made of? 
Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Um, I feel like so far, coach has really prepared us a lot because our offense has really, um, our offense really play fast right now. Um, very, we've got lots of fast guys on offense, and our coaches are really practice preparing into the game. We know how fast they are. They're a very fast team, and they, they always play tempo and things like that. So we've been able to train hard. We're just like talking about being in shape and weather and all those things. We don't care what time uh, we go and play because we uh, we've already conditioned our body and made it get gotten it pre uh, ready to be able to perform good. So then being a very fast team, I feel like we have a, everybody on our defense is fast. So we we're not sure that's gonna be like um, a big difference because everybody runs fast, everybody plays fast, and as a defense, we're excited about fast games. Actually, the slower games are more boring. It's more boring, but we're very, very excited, you know. Coming back, like, in general, every position we want to talk about on the defense, there's no place that we really lack speed. So that's not really um, its advantage on, on on us at all. So we just got to come together and execute it and everybody play fast and master their own assignments and execute the right way. So the speed is not – I feel like we're ready for it. We're strong and physically um, and ready to play it. Can you just talk about that moment um, with Coach Summerall there sitting down with uh, with him and when he told you you're going to be the starting quarterback uh, for Week One this year? Uh, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty sweet. I mean, I've, I've uh, I think I've worked for it, and um, it, I I was very happy when he told me. But um, he just straight up told me like you're going to be the starter for Week One, and we believe in you, and you're the guy. So. And now, what do you now you get to see that Ole Miss defense? You prepared for them. Um, what do you what are you expecting? I mean, you open the gate against a, a ranked a ranked opponent there. Uh, what, what are you expecting to see from them Saturday? Oh, uh, I mean, well, you know they got a d new defense coordinator, and they um, we got film from last year, but we're not sure exactly. But um, we're just going to go out there and play, run what we run, and just do what we do. Gunner, how much difference really is this offense from last year? Because it seems like it's a lot more maybe complicated. But tell us in your words what you've had to learn and. How difficult or, or how easy you've picked it up, you tell us. Oh, I mean, we've been doing it since the spring. So, I mean, I picked up on it pretty well. Uh, Coach Pop and Coach Craddock got some good things in. It's, uh, it's a little different than last year. There's a little more responsibility at the quarterback position. But um, I picked up on it pretty good, and I've enjoyed enjoyed working with the offense. So. What about working with Jake at center? I mean, that's a new center this year. How has all that come together? Oh, it's been good. I mean, he's uh, he's never really played center before. I mean, he's worked at it at practice like last year, but um, yeah, he's he's doing just fine, and he's he's a big, strong guy, and he's gonna hold his own for sure. Gunner, you've been around a while now. How much more comfort for you uh, going into a game like this, um, starting the season, and? and You've been a starter before. You know what it's like. Uh, you seem pretty comfortable out there when we watch you at practice. Is that what we see is what we're getting? Yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot easier the older I've gotten. But um, this game Saturday will be exciting. It'll be, I think it's the first time I've played against an SEC opponent. But um, it'll be very exciting, and uh, I'm ready to go. What's been kind of the, the most difficult thing about preparing for, uh, for an offense like all this? Uh, you know, uh, we're looking at them on film. They're kind of a, a tempo team, so just getting the team, you know, acclimated to the type of pace that we're going to have to play this game. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're up for it. Carlton, how fun is it just as a player to go against an offense like that? Uh, I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't say as much as fun, but you know you're going to be tired after the game. But you know that's what you expect. You know we're going to have to play a, a four quarter game, and you know that's what. Uh, we're trying to practice for it, make sure everybody's up to condition to play at a high level throughout the game. Yeah, that brings me to our next question. Last year, the second half was rough for y'all as a team in general. How much more physically prepared do y'all believe y'all are this year going into the season? You know, I feel we're the best prepared that we've been in, in a while now, you know, from top to bottom, you know. Of course, there were questions, but I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, all those questions probably will be answered uh, this Saturday. You know, the defense is looking good. You know, offense, they're coming along. They're starting to look really good. So, yeah, you know, we're just excited about getting out there. Coach, uh, Summerall has talked a lot about how you were kind of his biggest recruit since he got the job here. You need to come back. 
ultimately, what made you uh, come back for your senior season? Um, yes, I, well, I get this question a lot. A lot of people think it's uh, it's for the record because, you know, maybe that that's an amazing accomplishment, but it really wasn't for that. It was more of these past few years, you know, I felt like as a leader myself, I kind of let the team down. I kind of put it on my shoulders because we needed that special leader to step out there and say, you know, enough is enough. You know, you need that vocal leader, and I just – I was more of a lead by example guy these past three years. So, you know, I had to grow as a – player and a man to, you know, be a better leader and my guys, you know, our guys together, you know, they just push me to be the best I can, you know, have all their support and uh, I know they're behind me. Carson, has it been hard to turn that switch on to being a vocal guy? Uh, it really hasn't been hard because, you know, I'm kind of a outgoing character if, uh, <laughs> if a lot of people haven't uh, said anything about that yet, but, you know, just knowing that, you know, being a leader within yourself, you still have to try to lead others because, you know, being an effective leader, you have to affect others with how you move, you know, your words, how you how you walk into a room, simple as that. You know, just certain things that I had to, you know, realize, I would say, you know, coming back for this next year. Has y'all changed much defensively scheme-wise with Coach Wood in charge? Uh, I wouldn't say change too much, but we have we've had some significant change. So I mean, there a few tw twists and turns here and there, but nothing too bad. And last question for me, but you know, you talk about yourself being a leader. Who are some of the other guys that have kind of stepped up in that role as well this year? Do you think? Well, I can't even say stepped up uh, just this year. You know, I, I would say anytime I ask someone asks me this question, I always give them the same answer. You know, KJ Robertson. You know, that's the first guy that comes to my mind every every single time because he's one of the guys, you know, that keeps me straight. You know, he's he's my leader. Like, I look up to him. Even though he's younger than me, we started playing at the same time. He's a year younger. But, you know, I look up to him. He keeps me, you know, keeps me level-headed and keeps me, like, down to earth and makes sure I work every day. And he's just – he pushes me and I push him. So, yeah, that's that guy's amazing.